India is the cradle of human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the great grandmother of legend and tradition. Our most valuable and most artistic materials in history of man are treasured up in India only. Mark Twain. To all our viewers, I extend a very warm welcome to our first ever 74th virtual Independence Day celebrations. I am Parul Kedia and I'm joined with Aisha Naba of Crate 12, the Cultural Secretary this year. We are your hosts for the day. During these challenging times, there is no greater need for unity and harmony. There is no greater call for hope and aspirations. We are collectively waiting to see a shed of light at the end of this tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, our theme for this year's Independence Day celebrations is United by Hope. I would like to take a moment to remind all our viewers uh, to kindly refresh their screens during a, an occurrence of a technical lag. Being watchful, we humbly request your cooperation and support given the possibility of any lag during the protection of this event. So let's begin today's event by inviting Mohammed Hamza of Grade 10 to recite the press. Prayer. In the name of God, the most kind, the most merciful. Praises for Almighty, the Lord of the world. The most kind, the most merciful. Master of the day of judgment, you alone we worship, from you alone we seek help. Guide us along the straight path, the path of those whom you are pleased with, and not the path of those who earn your anger, nor those who go astray. Moving on, I'd like to invite Mudassir Ari, the President of the Student Council, to deliver the welcoming address to our viewers. All birds find shelter during a rain, but eagle avoids rain by flying above the clouds. Problems are common, but attitude makes the difference. APJ Abdul Kalam. Most Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Abrar Anwar, Honorable Trustees, Ms. Aisha Masood and Dr. Amber Qayyum, respected principal and deputy principals, parents, teaching and non-teaching staff, and my dear friends. A very happy morning to one and all present here. It is my privilege and honor as a student council president to welcome you all to OSS International School's virtual 74th Independence Day celebration. Today, our country is free. Our land is free. Our voice is free. We breathe free air, we smile, and nurture our thoughts without any doubt. But all these words will become meaningless if we fail to recognize our ancestors who have given their life and mammoth effort to ensure that we enjoy this freedom. While remembering those freedom fighters, we must understand their vision. They wanted India to be free from hunger, oppression, poverty, but filled with immense love, peace, and harmony. Though we are still struggling to achieve the vision of our forefathers, it is high time for us to take the baton from our elders and commit to bring the real ray of hope for one and all. We are the true keepers of our beloved country. In the language of population, we are quite a young country where 50% of the people are less than 25 years. When we are ushering into future, we are also carrying a responsibility of every dream of every Indian in every corner. We, we should remind ourselves every day that we are the torchbearers of the future. Our great nation had broken a shackle on 15th August 1947, when the world just woke up from the Second World War. Today, on 15th August 2020, we stand midst of challenges and opportunity. On one hand, we are being challenged with COVID-19 pandemic, but on the other hand, technology is stepping towards a new era, a new era in which sharing or getting information is as simple as Googling. We are fortunate to be part of Oasis International School. Our school has always been motivating us to become a person of good values, good knowledge, good behavior, and to serve our country to the best of our ability. Voices of knowledge, respect, values, and love is being churned right here. Let us all pledge to stand by our school's vision and become a true source of knowledge and wisdom 
to water every field of this nation and spread its aroma across the world. Once again, I extend my hearty welcome to every one of you present here. Thank you and wish you all a happy 74th Independence Day. Thank you, Mudassir. No Independence Day celebration is complete without the hoisting of the flag. This morning, our principal, Ms. Lata Balan, hoisted the national flag in our Hinoor campus. Let us now proceed to watch the video of the scene. All viewers are requested to rise as the national tricolor unfurls. I now invite the principal, Ms. Tata Balan, to address our viewers. Warm greetings to our chief guest, Dr. Abra Ranwar, alumnus, batch 2013, trustees, parents, teachers, admin staff, and all my students. Wishing all of you a happy 74th Independence Day. This year had started off amidst the pandemic and we are celebrating this 74th Independence Day virtually. This only emphasizes the fact that we are resilient, adaptable, and can stand up to any adversity. It is my pleasure to address this August gathering on this glorious occasion using this platform. Most of us gathered here were born in a free India. But let us not forget to remember the great leaders who fought for our freedom most importantly, let us remember the way we achieved our freedom. We were the pioneers of nonviolence freedom movement in the world. Nonviolence is a concept that has been preached in almost all religions. We had implemented the same under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi to attain our freedom. We achieved our freedom assertively without being aggressive. We still stand as one of the great countries and mysteries in the world because of our soft yet strong nature, diverse culture and values. 73 years ago, this day marked the birth of a new nation, a nation filled with aspirations and dreams for the future. Our great leaders had a vision of a united India which will move ahead in the field of education, economy, technology, industry, and also provide a safe, free ethos with equal opportunities for every individual to thrive and progress. These 73 years of Indian independence is a mixture of progress, troubles, and tribulations. We have come at par with the international community in the progress of science, information technology, and many other fields. Agriculturally, we have become self-sufficient in the production of food. We are the largest democracy and have the most diverse cultures, yet we are united as Indians. There are many separatist forces trying to divide our country on the basis of race, color, culture, language, and religion. We need to fight against this by using our freedom with 
responsibility. The responsibility to be good, responsible and responsive citizens. We need to build a nation that we are proud to live in. You children are the future. Be aware of your rights and use it wisely. In the present times, sometimes we misconstrue the word freedom. We give more importance to individual freedom and forget about the others. Puzzled why I'm saying this? In these difficult times, we have been asked to follow some simple rules like to wear the mask, to keep social distancing, to maintain hygiene and sanitize ourselves, to remain home as much as possible to be safe. How many of us follow these rules to the T? We complain that it impinges on our fundamental rights. We feel this way because we're thinking only about ourselves. As responsible citizens, we need to think of the larger humanity and follow these rules to break the chain. It is my appeal to everyone to stop thinking about the individual and start thinking of humanity at large. Children, you are the future and we hope that you will fulfill the dreams of our forefathers to make India a self-reliant country and a place where everyone is free in the true sense. I would like to recite my favorite poem of Rabindranath Tagore, which is just apt for this occasion. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert stand of dead habit, where the mind is, mind is led forward by thee into the ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Jai Hind. Thank you, Lata Mom. Now it is my immense pleasure to introduce the chief guest for today, Dr. Abrar Anwar. He is our very own prodigy from the 2013 batch. Dr. Abrar completed his pre-university studies in Shaheen Vidir. He then went on to complete his MBBS from D.Y. Patil Medical College. He is currently interning at the D.Y. Patil Medical College and Hospital in Pune. In the, uh, Dr. Abrar is also a linguistic trainer. He works with children with speech impairment. He is blessed with the gift of the gap, having participated in over 20 Model United Nations and won 19 Best Delegate Awards. Dr. Abrar Anwar, welcome back to your home, Oasis. I now invite you to share your thoughts with us. Well, uh, hello everybody. Good morning and a very happy Independence Day to one and all over here. Um, so I would just like to say a few words on uh, uh, today, uh, today's occasion. And uh, as uh, I have been informed that today's celebration is about hope, that is the topic of, uh, about uh, today's Independence Day. So I would like to start by just uh, telling all of you guys that right now, the time that we are living in, we are in dire need of hope. And not only hope, we are in need of humanity for that matter. Uh, only if we have that empathy and that humanity in us is only when we're going to have hope. So uh, today when I started work uh, around 8 in the morning, coming to the EM, out of uh, which all three of them were in very critical condition. And we could, uh, and they were so critical that I don't think um, we as doctors uh, we're more or less convinced that, you know, we cannot do anything for these three people. We just kept on going. We kept on doing whatever it is that we had to do. We, uh, we, we tried a level best and out of those three people, we managed to save two, even though the both of them are still in critical condition. And sadly, we, uh, sadly one person passed away, but, but the, I guess that is what hope is at the end of the day, when you know that things are not working out, when you know that, uh, things should not work out. But nevertheless, you give your 100% and you give everything that you've got and you fight for them and 
and and at the end of the day it's all up uh, up to god and how things work out but we as human beings should give everything and anything that we have in our power and that is exactly what all of us did and um, alhamdulillah two of them are stable right now but they are still slightly critical and in this in this hour i think we all need to have that hope hope of um, recovering if we are um, down with any disease hope of um, uh, hope for our brothers and sisters today who are suffering from uh, uh, corona or any other disease for that matter and um, so just keep that hope up do everything that, that is in your power to help people um, in any which way you can um, i'd like to give an example of a friend of mine who is not a doctor his uh, his name is zufi shan um so at, at this time when uh, you know um, he being um, a do- even without being a doctor did his uh, part to the society when he did go and um, give a lot of food and milk to hundreds and thousands of people and he did his part in making sure that people are fed and people don't die of hunger so i guess we all have to aspire to be such citizens and such part of our community and um Uh, i'm i'm so sorry i would like to talk a lot more on this but i have to get back to work and i've just come back from the em for 5 to 10 minutes over here and uh, i have to get back to work and i've been getting calls so i would like to take your leave and i would like to wish all of you a very happy independence day please be safe please um, help people as much as you can however it is that you can and uh, take care of yourselves take care of family and again a very happy independence day to one and all Bye bye. I invite Mr. Jeremy Solomon to talk about our upcoming webinar. Over to you, Jeremy Sir. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeremy Solomon, and I want to take this time to wish all of you a happy Independence Day. And uh, like Nabba was saying, we have a lot of webinars coming up, a lot of events coming up. Let me just talk to you about one such event. This event is coming up at the end of this month, which is the twenty ninth of August. We are calling it Reimagining Education, which will bring together a panel of eminent personalities within the field of education, and we are going to talk about the new education policy. They are going to share their perspectives on it, and uh, if we go a little further, we will see that these are some of the people who are going to be part of the panel. so it's going to be very exciting uh, do go to our uh, instagram page or any of our social media handles you can look at our website or look us up on any of our social media handles and i am sure that you will be able to find more information on this once you do that you can register via a form and uh, when you do that you'll be given details as to how you can be a part of this webinar so we are very excited for this and uh, we hope that all of you will join in thank you Moving on, we now have a patriotic group song by students of grade eight and nine. Do feel free to sing along with them.
The vocals for this song are Abdul Rahman Z 8B, Alina Hajra 8B, Maria Moves 8A, Mohammad Shahid 8B, Ruby Sheikh 8A, and Sheikh Zubair Rahman from 8B. Background vocals Miss Chanel and Mr. Jeremy Solomon from Faculty. Guitar by Royal Noel Chetty. Video editing by Hari Krishna 10B. And special mention to Paru Kedia from Faculty. Thank you to everyone. After that melodious performance, now we move on to our little stars from grade 1 to 5 to show you their take on the cultural diversity of India. Happy Independence Day! India is a diverse country, a fact that is visibly prominent in its people, culture and climate. From the eternal snows of the Himalayas to the cultivated peninsula of far south, from the deserts of the west to the humid deltas of the east, from the dry heat and cold of the central plateau to the cool forest foothills, Indian lifestyles clearly glorify the geography. The food, clothing and habits of an Indian differ in accordance to the place of origin which makes our traditions unique. People speak in different languages, dress differently, follow different religions, eat different food but are of the same temperament. So whether it is a joyous occasion or a moment of grief, people participate wholeheartedly feeling the joy and happiness. India sees a large number of festivals. These celebrations are never constrained to a family or a home. The whole community is involved in bringing liveliness to an occasion. The global image of India is that of an upcoming and progressive nation. India is the world's largest democracy. The beauty of the Indian people lies in the spirit of tolerance, give and take and a composition of cultures that can be compared to a garden of flowers of various colors and shades while maintaining their own entity lend harmony and beauty to the garden india i love my india I'm sure the little ones stole your hearts away. As a part of this year's Independence Day celebrations, we conducted several activities for the students of grade 6 to 10 throughout the week. The theme for the students was United by Hope. We now have the results of the top three winners for each competition. Over to you, Naba. We have the results of the art competition from grade 6 and upwards. The winners from grade 6 are Amna Sheikh, Farkheen Khan, Madiha Khosar and Shanaz. The winners from grade 7 are Arifa Ansari, Hana Mariam, Mohammad Talha and Ramsha Sadaf. The winners from grade 8 are Alina Hajra, 
Amara Shirin Khuram, Aisha Hana Mini, Mariam Asya Shahir, and Nukba Rushta. The winners from grade 9 are Mariam Lassan Ahmad and Zaina Khuram. Well done students, congratulations. Over to you, Parumam. We also have the results for the poetry competition. The winners are Yusair Fatima of grade 8A in the third position, Madiha Kosar of grade 6A in the second position, and we have Mohammed Saad of grade 6B in the first position. I invite Mohammed Saad to recite his poem. Hymns of Hope by Mohammed Saad. Thanks to those selfless fighters who sacrificed it all. Thanks to the raging inferno turning into a beautiful spark of hope. Thanks to the love of freedom that united them all, making them powerful to brave through tough times. For what is life without freedom? What is a nation without diversity? They were united, they were one. They are the reason we live a melody sung by peace. Let go of prejudice, for in diversity there is beauty, and in unity there is strength. Remember, dear folks, every hard time we can get through together, united by hope. 
have courage and be kind. That is the spirit through India. Wish you all a happy Independence Day. All right, uh, moving on, I now hand over to our Councillor Secretary, Ja, to announce the winners for the filmmaking competition. My name is Ja Abdul Jabbar, and I am the Cultural Secretary for this year. Now, we conducted a filmmaking competition for the grades 9 and 10, and we got incredible responses. Uh, the short films were made by the students themselves. They scripted the story, and then they recorded it, and then they put it together all by themselves. Now, we had um, a panel of judges, a qualified panel of judges that went through the films and uh, shortlisted the winners. And the winning film is called United by Hope. This film was produced by Farhan Imtiaz of 9B. He was the animator. Mohammed Fuzel of 9B, he was also the animator and the editor. Mohammed Ayman Alam from 9B, we are going to take a quick glimpse of the short film which was which won the first position. All of the films are uploaded onto our YouTube channel and the links will be shared with everyone shortly. Thank you. Thank you, Ja. I'm sure all of you are very curious to go watch all our movies, all the movies prepared by our students. Uh, lastly, as the celebration comes to a close, we hope our viewers have enjoyed thoroughly watching the, our little ones put up a show. A lot of effort has gone into this. so. Uh, Finally, lastly, I would like to call upon Naba, the Joint Cultural Secretary, to uh, conclude with a thank you note. I deem it a great privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. First off, I extend my sincere thanks to our founders and our trustors, trustees, Ms. Aisha Masood and Dr. Ambar Kayyum, our principal, Ms. Lata Balan, our deputy principals, Ms. Habiba and Ms. Susan Matthews, 
Without their support, this event could not have been a successful one. Next, I thank all the parents to be for being a part of our very first virtual Independence Day celebrations. I must express my gratitude towards our great coordinators, Ms. Kutsia and Ms. Sumaya, our technical coordinators, Ms. Anjum and Mr. Jeremy, for their continuous support and guidance in the organization of the event. A hearty thank you to the CCA team for working towards the communication and the coordination of this event. I also extend my thanks to our student coordinators and our core members of the media committee for their excellent coverage to our program. I'd like to take this chance to thank all the teachers who work tirelessly towards the coordination of student competitions and activities. Lastly, a big thank you to all the students for their active participation. Once again, thank you one and all. Jai Hind.